Hello my lovely Leo, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are here today for a love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And of course, for any of you lovely folks dealing with a Leo romantically. So today we're looking at love. It's a timeless tarot reading. So whenever you click into it is when you were meant to hear the messages. So I'm going to pull some Oracle cards and some tarot cards. We're going to see what messages we've got. But I always remind you, it's a general reading. So may or may not resonate. Maybe some of it does, some of it doesn't. Moral of the story, just take what works for you, Leo, and leave anything that really doesn't fit for you and your circumstances. Now, I wanted to say welcome back to all of you who have been here before. You know I love you guys so much, and a very warm welcome to those of you who are joining my channel for the first time. If you don't know me, I am a very proud Leo son, and all that I do on this channel is readings for the sign of Leo. So I feel very connected to my sun sign, and so I thought it would be fun to do this channel all about Leo all the time. So if you are a Leo, you have come to the right place, and you are very, very welcome here. So without further ado, we're going to jump in today. We're going to start it out with the romance angels to get some overarching messages, and then we're going to dig into the tarot. So what have we got for Leo? What have we got for Leo today, please? All right. Ooh. First card out, Leo, we got some separation. Okay. So separation can be a couple of different things. I mean, it could be a long distance relationship. So maybe some of you are doing the long distance thing with your partner. For others of you, maybe you are in separation from your partner. Maybe you guys are taking a bit of a break, sorting some stuff out. So let's see, let's see here. What else? Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, interesting. I mean, maybe some of you separated from your partner and now you're meeting somebody new. I'm also like, I'm kind of getting an interesting message here, Leo, about two people who moved a relationship really quickly and then started to feel like maybe they didn't know enough about each other if that makes sense. Like, I wonder if some of you jumped in really quick to a connection and it felt really good and it felt really exciting, but maybe things moved so quickly and then you started to realize like, we didn't ask each other some of those important questions. We haven't got to know each other that well. Maybe we need to slow things down a little bit. So I wonder if maybe there's a bit of an issue here with the pacing of a relationship. Okay, um, what else? Let's get one more from the Romance Angels. Past life relationship, wow, okay. You have known each other before. Uh, so this is definitely interesting here, Leo, because it almost looks to me like maybe some of you have somebody from the past who's coming back into the picture. The two of you have separated, but they might be coming in and saying, I want us to get to know each other again. I wanna try and rebuild our connection. I wanna try and rebuild our relationship here. And so it definitely looks like there's somebody who might be trying to get you back and really saying like, we can take things slow, we don't have to rush anything, but I really want the chance here to rebuild with you. So I think it's a past person coming back for some of you. Now, if it's not a past person coming back, I, I do think some of you guys are doing long distance. I will say that, Leo, like I think some of you are doing long distance and you're finding it tough because you're finding it hard to really get to know each other in the long distance phase of your relationship. So if you're doing long distance, I just wanna recognize that I do see some potential struggles here, but I do feel a very big energy of somebody from your past, somebody who you're in separation from, coming back into the picture and wanting to see if you guys can get to know each other, okay? So let's continue with that. Let's look at that a little bit deeper. So with this past energy, tell me about this person. This is the Hidden Truth Oracle. We're gonna pull tarot in a moment, but I just wanna pull some Hidden Truth Oracle on them. I know I crossed the line with you. Okay, so they did something to cross the line. All right, what else, what else? I left when I saw you with somebody. Huh, interesting. I mean, maybe this person has kind of been keeping an eye on you and they saw that you've been dating other people and maybe they've been waiting for the right time to come back. So maybe you're single now and they're thinking that it's the right time to make a move on you. Let's get one more. Just being near you is intoxicating. Okay, yeah. So they feel a lot of desire for you here, Leo. Obviously, they still have very strong chemistry and strong feelings. They definitely did something that crossed the line though. And that's probably what led to the relationship breaking up. And so they might be coming back and saying like, yes, 
I absolutely crossed the line and I've been trying to think about how to make it up to you and how to fix this. Um, will you give me a chance? Okay. So I think they're wanting to come back and have that conversation. I'm just taking in the energy here, Leo. I'm just looking at what we've got here. I have to say, like I am kind of feeling like maybe some of you have broken up with this person or you've been on a break, but I'm also kind of getting like, maybe that's just what the relationship needed. Like I'm really picking up on something about pacing here where it's like, you guys jumped in, it was hot and heavy, it moved a little bit too fast, and now maybe you guys broke up, but now that you've had a bit of time and space apart, you can come back together and restart this relationship and do things right. So I'm actually feeling like whatever this break was, I think that it's been good for the relationship. And I know we haven't even pulled any tarot, you guys, but I'm just kind of telling you like intuitively what I'm picking up on here. I feel like this is a situation where it's like, it moved too fast, you guys freaked out, maybe someone crossed the line, you guys broke up, and then you had some time and space apart, but you realized that there were still feelings there between the two of you. And now you could be coming back together with this past person and taking the time to get to know each other and maybe taking things a lot slower than you did the first time. That's just what I'm picking up on, guys. Okay, so let's actually dig into the tarot and let's look more at this connection. So we're gonna look at this person, what they're feeling, what kind of actions they're taking towards you. We're gonna look at the same thing for you, Leo, and then pull some advice and potential outcome. So tell me about this person. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, the card literally went flying. One sec, you guys, I'll be back, I'll be back. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I picked it up. Leo, 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 you're gonna like this. You're gonna like this, okay. So, it's always so awkward when I have to like get up on camera and then like readjust. There we go. Look what went flying. Two of cups, okay? So this tells me that this is a potential soulmate connection here. There's obviously something very special here with you and this person. I think they for sure look at you as their soulmate, Leo. So they got a lot of regrets over losing you. Okay, tell me more about this person. Tell me more. Eight of swords, right? So I think they've been in a really negative headspace since the two of you have been broken up. I think there's been a lot of insecurity and a lot of um, self-doubt and a lot of like negative stuff that's come up here within this connection that has caused problems. And so I think they're trying to work through some of their own inner fears and insecurities that, so that it doesn't cause problems in your relationship if you get back together, right? Uh, what else? Death, yeah right? So it's like they want to leave the past in the past and they want to move forward. There's a very strong energy of like wanting to transform this connection with you from something that is broken into something that is fixed, okay? So what are they feeling? What are they feeling? <sighs> kind of feeling like they want to marry you. <laughs> it's like that Bruno Mars song, I think I'm gonna marry you, right? So... It's a beautiful night. They're looking for something dumb to do. Hey baby, I think I wanna marry you. That's a Bruno Mars lyric, right? That's a song that popped into my head, you guys. I don't know, maybe listen to that song and see if you get any insight from it. But essentially what I've got here is this person wants to marry you. Obviously they wanna deeply commit to you. What else are they feeling? Three of Swords, absolutely destroyed and devastated that the two of you have broken up. Like literally gutted literally gutted, so heartbroken over the fact that the two of you did not work out. And they have just been thinking about you. They've been hurt. They've been heartbroken. It's been so painful for them, Leo, not being with you because they feel this very strong connection with you, obviously, for you guys to have this past life card. And so it's been really hard. It's been like really hard for this person to be in separation from you, okay? They have been utterly devastated and heartbroken, okay? And the magician, it's like, they wanna manifest a fresh start with you. They're, they, they're really hoping you're gonna give them another chance here, Leo. Let's just say that, okay? So what actions are they taking towards you? Three of wands. <laughs> basically, they're gonna be telling you they see a future with you, Leo. They're basically gonna be saying like, I choose you, I want you, I want a future with you, I want everything with you, Leo, okay? What other actions are they taking? What other actions? Empress, 
I love you. I want to have kids with you. I want to be with you. They are fully opening up their heart to you, Leo. I think they're probably going to be pouring their heart out to you and just expressing how deeply they feel for you. Wow. What else? Three of Cups. They want to celebrate this love. And the other thing is that they might be going to like your friends and family as a way to like figure out how to get you back. Like I think they're trying to do everything that they can to win you over and to get this connection back. And my sense here, again, it's kind of like intuitively what I'm picking up on. I feel like your friends and family are on board with this, okay? Like with exes coming back, it's always kind of like interesting what's gonna happen because sometimes the ex is coming back and the cards are like, yeah, probably don't do that. That's actually not what I'm feeling here. I feel like you guys have broken up, but even though you guys have broken up, I think that even your friends and family are like, but if you guys can kind of sort out what the issues were before, this could potentially be a really good relationship. And so I, I feel like your friends and family are gonna be in support of you guys giving it another chance. Like, I don't think they're gonna resist this. Interesting. Okay, uh, what about Leo? Let's look at you. Let's look at Leo, please. Let's see, five of wands. <laughs> But there's like a little part of you that's like conflicted about this. I don't think you're going to make it like super easy for this person to waltz back in. I think you're going to make them like, I don't know, you're going to, you're going to, um, I, I don't know, make them work for it. Let's see. Let's see what else we've got. What else? What else? Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> you're going to make them work for it. Okay. Yeah. So basically, I think what you're doing is you want to make sure this person is like invested in you. But I also feel like there's part of you that still wants to invest in them too. Like my sense here is like both of you still feel that connection with each other. There's obviously been some sort of conflict that drove you guys apart. But I do think you want to work through it. Yeah, you want to move forward, right? With that Knight of Swords, maybe you're dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But like, I do think there is a desire here for both of you to like come together. And I think you're both going to be open to exploring this reconnection. Okay. Uh, so uh, what is Leo feeling? What is Leo feeling? Five of swords. Yeah. It's like, I just don't want to have any of the negativity in the drama. I don't want to have any of the negativity in the drama. I just want to move past that. You're disengaging from anything that's been toxic. And it's kind of like you want a fresh start here, Leo. Four of Pentacles, but yeah, you never let this person go. I honestly think this is a situation where both of you have kind of been holding on to it. And it was just a question of who was gonna make the first move. Who was actually gonna take that step to actually start a conversation? Because I, I think you've still been holding on to them. I think, Leo, if you're honest with yourself, I think you've still been thinking about this person too, just as much as they've been thinking about you. The lovers, you still love them. I mean, there's still feelings here, you guys. Um, whatever happened that led the two of you to break up, it, it's not so bad, like in the sense that the relationship is done. I feel for both you and your person, there's a sense here that you can repair this and you can do things differently. And the love is definitely still there. So what actions is Leo taking toward this person? What actions is Leo taking toward this person? Queen of Wands, you're showing them passion and love. You could be dealing with a fellow fire sign, a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. Four of Cups here. I think you realize that if you don't go for it, this could be a big missed opportunity. And I think that's one of the reasons. I mean, we haven't even pulled the outcome, but I don't know. Just what I'm seeing so far, you guys. I think that if you don't give this a chance, you could feel like you end up regretting it forever. And the Four of Cups to me is like the missed opportunity card. So it's like you feel you have to at least give this a shot because even if it doesn't work out, then at least you can say that you tried. You tried, right? Okay. Uh, let's get one more here for Leo, please. One more. Queen of Swords, yeah. A lot of talking, a lot of conversation, a lot of getting to know each other, right? This feels very exciting. I think that's the thing. It's like... There, you're gonna have to have a lot of conversations here. Like I think part of the path to find your way back to each other is through the conversations that you're gonna have so that you can really get to know each other and understand where each of you are coming from and what each of you wants. That's what I think you're really focusing on right now. And so there's gonna have to be a lot of conversation, a lot of communication between the two of you 
that can help to repair what has happened here in this connection. So what is the advice? What is the advice here? <laughs> so we've got your card, Leo. You're showing up in the strength card. I think it's just about, I'm just getting like, you guys have strong feelings. So if you have strong feelings for each other, still explore it, right? Okay, what else? Allow yourselves to have this new beginning. Beautiful, Ace of Cups, there you go. Allow yourselves to have this fresh start. Allow yourselves to at least explore the possibility of a new beginning. Queen of Pentacles. And really work it, really, really work on building that stability and that foundation. Like I said, my gut sense here is that something just happened really quickly and then it kind of blew up, you guys broke up. And now you have the chance to come back and do it right. And really, really start from that foundation and build things up from there, okay? I'm feeling kind of excited about this, you guys. I feel like there's a good possibility you could make this work. Um, but let's see. Let's see what the outcome says. Let's see what the potential outcome is here. Let's see, you guys. Okay. Page of Wands. Okay. That's good. That's good. What else? <laughs> the star. What else? My gut was right. I knew it. I knew it, Leo. I knew it. Okay. The outcome's really good. Page of Wands, the star and the fool. I see you guys healing this and having a new beginning. And you know if you've watched my videos, I do not always feel that way. We get a lot of X stuff popping up and a lot of the times I'm like, that's toxic, I don't know, this is weird. I'm not getting that here. I actually, like, I'm not even kidding you, Leo. I'm feeling kind of excited here about the possibilities. It looks like you guys are gonna be able to come together and heal this and have a beautiful new beginning. I mean, look at the star and look at the fool. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think you guys find yourselves coming back together, having that, I don't know, that beautiful discussion about what you want, where you're going, and work on really building the foundation from the bottom up, right? You guys have the chance to do it right. And I think you guys still love each other. And so I feel like both of you are coming together. Both of you wanna work on this. Both of you wanna create this future together. It's not over. It's not over for them. It's not over for you. Yeah, something happened to pull you guys apart, but the big word that keeps coming into my mind is repairable. It's repairable. And I think if you guys can figure out what that issue was that drove you guys apart initially, I think it's gonna, it's just, I kind of feel like it's even gonna be smooth sailing. I think you guys just need to identify like what was the issue that drove us apart. And if you can identify that together, I think you're both committed to like working on that, letting it go, and then focusing on moving forward within this connection and ultimately just having this like beautiful new beginning that you guys are building together. This is like a second chance at love. And I feel like there's a ton of possibilities here with this situation. So this is very interesting and I wish you the best with this Leo, okay? So I'm gonna leave it there. If you enjoyed this reading, you guys know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Um, like I've, I've said this before, I have another channel called Bright Love Guidance where I do some kind of general readings for you and for other signs as well. So feel free to check that out, especially like if you're not a Leo, you can head on over to my other channel and see if I've got some videos for you there. But I also have a couple of extra Leo readings over there as well. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, as always, you know, I wish you so much love and so much happiness, you guys. And we'll talk again very soon. Bye, my lions.